Wagwan 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 YouTube family my name is Eric this is the Eric Evolving channel if you're not yet subscribed you know what to do go ahead and subscribe right now so this is my in the news segment from Tampa and uh, one of the stories that I was following was the depression in Pasco County um, which uh, they have found that this is in fact not a sinkhole and it is just a depression and uh, I'll show you the news clip in a minute but I was like baffled that a depression and not a sinkhole would be 130 feet deep one side of me is like yeah it's great that it's not a um, sinkhole but I'm like if it was a sinkhole how deep would it be um, which is crazy to me what they're gonna do now they're actually just gonna fill that pretty that hole pretty much with dirt sand whatever they do it you know whatever the professionals do they'll fill that hole and uh, they'll move on. So check this out. Pasco County Emergency Management says there is no sign of sinkhole activity in the depression in Newport Ritchie. Crews did ground penetrating radar tests on this massive hole. They found the soil and limestone are stable. The 130 foot deep hole caused the nearby Varsity Club sports bar to be shut down at the beginning of this month. And just to be safe, the county said one southbound lane of Little Road would remain closed until that hole is filled in. The other interesting news from the area is an undercover sting uh, for prostitution uh, that the uh, sheriff's office uh, carried out. They, the target of the operations was the Johns. So a lot of Johns were arrested. I was not arrested, all right? I'm not a John. Uh, but check out this video. The men arrested, all ages and backgrounds. The driving force of human trafficking is and will always be the desire and willingness of Johns, who are the customers, to pay for sex with people who are the victims of this industry. Without the demand, this industry falls apart. Prostitution should not be viewed as a victimless crime. As the person on the other end of this transaction could be someone who has been forced into human trafficking. And with Super Bowl 55 rapidly approaching, we will continue to conduct these proactive measures that send a clear and resounding message to anyone planning to visit the Tampa Bay area for the purpose of engaging in the sex trade. You will be arrested. And that's all and that's the two stories I have this week that's in the news in Tampa uh, remember to go check out the evolving wristbands on uh, on my website ericevolving.com and if you're watching this on a Friday it's happy hour Friday so tonight uh, we will be doing a happy hour live at 8 p.m. Eastern so if you can check it out it's usually a good time this would be live number three you get to ask any questions you want to ask and uh, we just have fun and relax and enjoy the Friday evening. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Please like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in, in the next video. Peace.